Most of today was taken up by opening statements with the government laying out its case against the comment for and their attorneys rebutting the accusations against them. But one witness did make it onto the stand, former state representative Carol Senti. She is one of several former state reps expected to testify regarding the power of then House Speaker Mike Madigan. As the government laid out its case against the so-called comment for today, it was at times hard to distinguish whether they were prosecuting the defendants on trial or former House Speaker Mike Madigan himself. Assistant U.S. Attorney Sarah Stryker saying at one point, Madigan wanted, the defendants gave, and the defendants got. It's that simple. Stryker saying that during the course of the next several weeks, the government intends to play over 100 undercover recordings, which they believe will prove that the defendants, including ComEd's former CEO and three lobbyists, obtained passage of three key pieces of legislation worth hundreds of millions of dollars. In exchange, the assistant U.S. attorney says Madigan's political cronies were rewarded in several ways, including with no-work jobs worth $1.3 million between 2011 and 2019. Former ComEd executive John Hooker's defense attorney Jacqueline Jacobson stating, lobby is not a crime. With Madigan confidant, Mike McLean's attorney, Patrick Cotter, adding that approximately 50% of the time Mr. Madigan asked for a job, the answer was no. ComEd said no. Now, testimony resumes tomorrow at 10 a.m., and while it did at times appear that it was Mike Madigan who was on trial, Madigan's own corruption trial is not scheduled to begin until late 2024. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.